Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome you all to learn Chinese language with Chinese language made easy. I'm Muhammad Shahid and today I will discuss a very interesting topic. The topic is about how to make the process of learning Chinese characters an interesting process or how we will develop or discover those interesting techniques which will help us in memorizing and learning these characters for a long time without even practicing it. So all of us, you know, especially the beginners and the foreigners who start to learn Chinese language, they, also, they always have this problem that what would be the solution for this that we will uh, know that if we do not practice these Chinese characters and we could know that how we could remember these Chinese char characters for a long time. So today I uh, brought a few techniques for you people and uh, you will find it helpful. Uh, I have re you know searched that in a lot of books and uh, I, I have also developed my self interpretation so these are mixed and uh, these are not fixed formulas or structures for learning the Chinese characters but it's rather a process to make Chinese characters learning easier. So let's just get started with our today's agenda and uh, today's first agenda is to present to you is the ch to present to you the Chinese characters in an easy and interesting way. This is the first agenda and the second one is that this these techniques which I am going to tell you in the next few minutes will produce a long lasting impact on your mind. So you will remember these characters even if you don't practice it but you will have this logic in your mind that how we could remember these meaningful techniques you know with the, with the help of these meaningful techniques we could remember these Chinese characters for a long time. So let's just uh, you know discover those techniques so the first character today is the character Wang 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 in Chinese language is known as a word means that means to forget something okay so now it is made of two characters uh, one character is above and one is below so the one which which is above is this one and in Chinese language it is known as Wang it is the phonetic sound of this character Wang okay with the second tone and it means to die or death okay and the second one is hard so they have combined hard with the character of death now you know that when we talk about hard it contains emotions or thoughts of a human being so like so how they connected or interlinked these two things seen hard in Chinese language is known as seen 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 means hard so is basically the death of those emotions and thoughts in one's heart especially or it could be directed towards your mind so it means that the death of those emotions or thoughts in your heart about specific incident or event that occurred to you or happened to you and now it is vanished or washed away or expired from your heart so it's like a dead emotion and it has no value so you forgot it okay so this could be a simple logic for remembering this character one other character which is used for uh, saying uh, die or dead is si, 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 means to die okay which one is going to be the next character for us so the next character is okay an pi an pi an pi okay an pi means to arrange something okay and we could interpret it with a simple example over here as I have explained this character an an means peace uh, in uh, one of my uh, previous videos uh, which is already uploaded on the YouTube you can watch it but I will also tell you in this one uh, is basically a character which is made with a floor okay a floor radical and then an, a woman is under that floor and who feels safe under the floor uh, sorry under under the roof okay so uh, a woman under a, f uh, a roof so how is that uh, how are these two characters combined with each other so this one is the radical which is used for uh, you know about something that is used as a shelter or cover okay or as a uh, act as a roof because it is a roof radical and it is known as mian 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 okay it is a roof radical basically so uh, it is combined with uh, the character of a woman who is under that roof and uh, this is ni 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 okay woman radical okay so 
this uh, character is basically I also gave this picture in the last uh, lecture which I uploaded on the YouTube like a woman feel safe okay under her own uh, roof of her home or house okay so now uh, let's uh, consider the other one and that is pi 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 okay so on the left hand side we have a, a radical for hand which is known as show so this is a radical for hand so she with the help of her hands is basically arranging the guests on either side of the table it's like a table and she arranged three guests on one side of the table and three guests on the other side of the table and you can see the picture which could actually fit you know the guests could fit in in this picture like on the right hand side we have three chairs on the left hand side we have three chairs and she have arranged the stuff for them on the table and with the help of her hands or you know directing them how to sit on either side of the table so this could be remembered on, with the help of this simple technique and pie and pie she has arranged something and she has invited these guests on, at her home and uh, you know now they will have to enjoy whatever stuff she had prepared for them okay what is the next character so the next character is okay this one is known as pie 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 means okay don't don't we use it for don't now it is also composed of some characters so the character on the radical which is the character on the right hand side is a radical for knife okay this one and it is known as dao 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 is a radical for knife used for knife okay and uh, to we use to cut something with knife okay we use it for that it is a tool and it is also combined with these characters the first one is mouth okay you can see it at the top and then you have it is combined uh, with the one uh, the character which is below the character of the mouth so this is known as li so this is ko the first one is ko the character for mouth and this one is li which is a character for power or strength so these are basically combined with each other okay and uh, you can say that these characters could be used to avoid you know someone for doing something which you don't wish them to do so it's like you have a you have a knife in your hand and you are you know calling with the strength of or the power of your mouth and calling him don't do this don't talk don't talk i'm telling you so it has a, a powerful impact you can produce a powerful impact so this is all about these characters i hope that you would have learned many different things in this video if you you know this is okay these are the uh, pictures which i included in that so strength is combined with the with the uh, 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 speech of mouth okay so i hope that you have would have learned many things from this video i i hope and if you like this video you know so do like uh, us on our facebook follow us on our instagram and don't forget to subscribe us on youtube okay and we will meet in another interesting videos about chinese language till then zai qian.